Before continuing to forms, let's do a quick review of our app and do a quick fix so we can continue smoothly. Right, we have the loading screen, the home screen, the edit contact screen, that's the part we are going to work right now, and the contact list screen. If we play the app, it will start from the loading screen and it will navigate to the home screen. Right here in the home screen, we can go to new contact. That's the screen we are going to create, as I mentioned, and the find contacts. I've noticed that I didn't put the navigate function in this find contacts button. So it's not going to the screen I want. That's the contact list screen. So let's do this quick fix and then we can continue to our lessons. I'm going to exit the play mode. Here in the find contacts, I'm just going to add the navigate function that will go to the other page. Navigate, then I'm going to select the contact list screen. Let me just add some transition here. Usually I like the fade transition and then close the parentheses. Now this button is working. Let me see if I click on find contacts, it goes to this screen. Now. Let's remember what are the next steps. Let me open our diagram or mockup that shows the full app that we are going to build. Here is the app. Notice that we still miss this page. That's the one we are going to build next. And here we have a form that has the input for name, email, phone, department, and any comments. Once the user press save, this is going to save a new line, a new row in the Excel spreadsheets. Also, in the contact list screen, we have a list of contacts and some actions here in the bottom. When the user selects one of the contacts and click on edit, we want to open the same form to edit that contact. We can also see that we have these other three buttons in the bottom of the contact list page that are the home, WhatsApp, and phone, and we are going to be adding those towards the end of this module. So see you in the next class where we are going to learn forms.